civilization. See you later. But what a send off from New Zealand. Check out this day, man. It's like, it's like the most gorgeous day ever. Beautiful bluebird skies, hot and sunny. Saying goodbye in a sweet way. We'll miss you, New Zealand. We'll miss everyone here. See you guys later. Bye. Got this view. This is amazing. It's night one on our passage up to Fiji and it's just gorgeous out. We just had the most beautiful sunset. You see that? Check that out. It's just gonna get better. Ashley's back here in cell phone data land. She's got like three gigs left on her plan. She's decided she needs to download as much Netflix. I just ran out of data. I just got a message. I'm sorry, you have part of data. Day two, it's gone windy. We're at uh, 27 gusting 30. and I still feel seasick. I'm buying drugs next time. Don't let go. It's violent. It's violent. Chasing a thing. Boat alarms been going off non stop, and it's because of the window back here. This escape hatch back here is leaking like crazy, it's leaking into the bilge. It's actually really, really bad. It's just getting pounded by waves. There's just so much water. There's so much water. Oh, the joys of sailing around the world. It's day three, I think it's day three. Maybe day two, I forget. Anyways, Ashley is still seasick. She's just a miserable person. Look at this, she's just sitting at the helm, trying not to chuck her cookies. How's the passage been so far? It's been f***ing awful. I mean, I probably can't say that on TV. It's been bloody awful. Everything's harder when it's blown 20 and big seas out, including cooking eggs.
the sun's just coming up and we had 30 knots overnight. It's getting a little bit warmer, just a little bit. Ocean's really beautiful today. A little chunky still. see me but you won't believe this there is a bird sitting right in front of my view I was like what the hell is that black blob check this out let's light them up it's a booby we have a stowaway we have a stowaway that thing is gonna poop all over our boat like it's gonna be bad I know he wants a break but seriously man what are you doing here are you okay seriously oh are you okay Ben is not going to believe this. This is outrageous. Stow away. Bill the booby has stowed away on our boat. You know what's a funny story? When I was a kid growing up, every bird that was in front of our cabin, the seagulls in front of the summer cabin, were called Bill and Bus, always. And I just thought it was always the same two birds. I always thought it was the same two birds. And guess what? It wasn't. They're not always the same two birds. Don't tell my kids that, I'm still gonna tell them that same story. But Bill and Bus, the adventures of Bill and Bus the Seagulls at the summer cabin were amazing. And I have to say, it was a lot more fun knowing that they were always Bill and Bus. Ben's, Ben's shift starts in uh, like 20 minutes, so maybe he can chill till then. Oh, he's on the trampoline now. Oh, you shit again, man. Dude. He's like kind of made a home here and he's looking pretty happy. He's got done with flying for tonight. Uh, You're shitting everywhere. You're shitting everywhere. He left, but uh, there's some serious poo marks around. Thought he thought this was a hotel. This ain't no hotel. What's his name? It was Bill. Bill the Booby. Bill the Booby? Yeah. So every bird is Bill or Bus. You got one or the other. Except for chirps. Chirps are different. Chirps are different. Oh, we almost had a chirp on board the other day. I forgot to tell you. I shoot him off too. Good morning! Okay, it's day eight of passage. I'm sure I look exhausted. I sure feel exhausted. I had morning shift. Um, the seas have just got a bit more boisterous, but I thought this was, it's a pretty sight up ahead and I thought I better show you. Um, we got sunrise happening uh, that direction. And then we have this cloud train coming up. I'll go show it to you. I'm expecting Ben to get up any second because, you know, it's a bit boisterous now and he doesn't like to sleep when it's boisterous. He's a bit, he's a bit of a princess. And I'm trying to thread the needle. Yeah. We're trying to get it through the clear patch. Through the clear patch. There's a rain squall on the left and a rain squall on the right and tiny little ones in between. I want to go through there. The problem is the cloud's moving, I'm moving, the boat's moving. I'm running the engine for power, but it's also pushing us along a little bit. Wish me luck. Oh, and by the way, land ho! Land ho! Land ho! Yeah, you gotta do that at least once. I see Fiji! Woo. I think I need to go to bed now. made it that's check this out that's Fiji right there that's Fiji and New Zealand New Zealand New Zealand somewhere back there I don't I don't know I don't really care 
it's cold down there, but check it out, Fiji, that's Fiji. But it's been a bumpy seven days, eight days at sea. Weather's warm, the sun's shining, the trade winds are blowing, doing a beam reach into the uh, entrance to the southern side of, or the eastern side of Fiji. So yeah, pretty excited. Excited to see the new culture, the new customs, the new people, the new smells, the new sights. Always love arriving in a new country. Oh, our skate patch, I'll show you that in a second. That's been leaking like a effing sieve. It's like the worst thing in the world. It's it's bloody awful. We fixed it in New Zealand, but I think we might have actually made it worse. These Lumar skate patches are the bane of our existence. They always have been since we bought the boat, they've leaked. Except now they're leaking like, oh, I don't know. A few liters an hour, like a gallon an hour. It's bad. This room has just been a, a dumping ground for wet gear. This is our window. And uh, let's see if you can see it. It's, it's super bad right now. So you can see, oh, that's not good. Okay, so if you look closely here, it's filled to this line. And then I've been taking my bucket every now and then I feel guilty about the amount of water that's spilled down here because it's just it's just crazy and it's draining straight into the bilge here you know over the electrical cables all that good stuff and straight into the bilge and then the bilge alarm goes off and blah 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 and the bilge drains yeah luckily our bilge bilge pump works bilge pump is working this is a real bummer for us we're we're gonna go we're gonna go into port denarau now instead of sabu sabu and try and get this sorted this is not what you want. A big hole in the side of your boat. Um, we're, we're actually contemplating just gluing this shut now, um, like fiberglassing it shut. We have another skate patch on the other side. It's not leaking, it's fine. Either we can look at it and just the seal's not sealing properly when we get there, or so we're gonna glue it shut somehow or other. Because this can't happen all season. Like This is a nightmare. Whoa, Whew, I gotta get out of here before I get seasick again. That's the situation here. Fiji, man. Fiji to the rescue. Can't wait to get there. So you don't know what you're doing. And the walls are closing in. I finally feel great. <laughs> I'd say it's my absolute worst passage for seasickness I've ever had. And probably the, one of the worst sea states we've ever been through. Like confused, huge, nasty seas. This passage is known for it. Like this isn't one of those passages that people take lightly, this passage from New Zealand to Fiji. Oh, by the way, we're going from New Zealand to Fiji. I've never really had that big of an issue and I, I always use natural remedies for my seasickness. I wear these sea bands. I took gr uh, gravel, ginger pills. I tried the earplug in the ear thing from a, one of our viewers, the opposite ear, the left ear this time. Yeah, none of it worked. I was just a walking zombie. I've never been such a zombie in my whole life. Just try and keep your eyes open for 15 seconds. Try to stay awake for your five, hour, five hours or three hours or two hours or whatever it was that I was on shift for and then straight back to bed. It's moved out a lot now. It was still pretty rough, but now it's nice and smooth. Five days out of New Zealand, it, it got a little warmer and Ben started to put on t-shirts. Yesterday was a short stay for Ben and today was a short stay for me and tomorrow we arrive in Fiji. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, we're, we're on our way back to the tropics and we can't be more, more thankful for that. It was getting bloody cold in New Zealand. It's coming into their winter and time to go. We are 156 nautical miles out of Fiji. We're going to, to, to Nandi and um, in Fiji and we're, we're pretty, pretty stoked. We're gonna go talk to a super yacht dock. We're gonna be the smallest boat on the dock, I think. Serious boat envy coming up this week. I'm gonna hang all my oodles of laundry. Do you know how much laundry there is when you have a passage like this? Like, let me tell you, one, you're not doing laundry because every two seconds it's getting sprayed by salt. Two, everything is soaking. Ben left the shower window open and poof, we got a bathroom full of water. There goes three towels. It's a good adventure. I mean, it is a good adventure. You survive it and then it feels like, yes, we achieved something. We are survivors. But really, it also is awesome because the reward at the end is you're in a beautiful country in a warm climate and oh my gosh I can't wait, wait to get there hopefully maybe catch a fish now because we finally got rods out no fish yet keep you just posted on that one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.